so you can you can do all that also in self-hosted uh, platforms uh, and uh, and even a bit a uh, bit more at the moment so we are trying to keep the balance uh, between the all the platforms and and yeah sometimes one is ahead a bit uh, but then we'll catch up and and, and improve the other one but but uh, here in the in context of reporting yeah of course uh, you, this view you already saw it's uh, simple and and you can export it to every every format but in, in addition to that for example uh, here you can already see even the graphical uh, representation of risk history so uh, so under this same g ratio uh, you can just uh, or we have a way to draw out how this risk class actually has changed in in time so uh, i don't have uh, at the moment really long history for this specific uh, issue so this is the reason why this uh, graph is a bit uh, yeah just a few few turns here and there but uh, if you gather the history over over time then uh, then yeah, you can just uh, see easily what has changed uh, who made the change even uh, in this uh, graphical way and, and you can just as easily export it or attach it uh, uh, wherever you need of course we have you can export it to different uh, reports with all the history all those changes uh, also you can uh, add uh, uh, multiple uh, risks uh, on uh, on one uh, one graph uh, again sorry for the sample sample data it's maybe not not like in, in real world but uh, but yeah you can uh, see the risk level change over over time uh, really easily on different dashboard uh, uh, items uh, and uh, uh, and and in, in reports as well 